I'm Richard Delaney from Rope Lab in the Blue Mountains of Australia and I'm here today with the Rigging Lab at Rescue Response Gear and what we want to talk about is mechanical advantage. It's something we use every day in every aspect of rope work but I find that not many people have a firm grasp of how to calculate MA simply so what we're going to discuss is a really simple method which is commonly called the T method. It's not mine, it's pretty common. But I'm just going to go through it point by point. The key things to look at, firstly, is any time we have a continuous strand of rope running through a system, we can assume the tension in that strand is the same at every point. Now I'm ignoring the friction through pulleys and any other changes of direction. We're just considering an ideal system, so we're going to calculate the ideal mechanical advantage. To start with, I want to define what we mean by mechanical advantage. Simply, it's the ratio of the effort we apply or the tension we apply at the input to the force that is being applied to the load or the force at the output. Now, as I stated a minute ago, if I'm applying one unit of tension, I don't mind what the units are, but I'm just going to say one unit of tension at the input, because I have no rope grabs and no other connections between this point and this point, Ideally, I can assume that the tension is the same in each of those three strands of rope. So one unit of tension at the input, one unit of tension here, one unit of tension here, and one unit of tension here. Now at the moment, this system isn't moving, so it means it's balanced or it's in a state of equilibrium. If I have one unit of tension in this rope and one unit of tension in this rope and the pulley's not moving, then it means we must have the equivalent of two units of tension at the back end of the pulley to oppose that. So one unit of tension plus one unit of tension, we can say that that equals two units of tension here. And in fact, that's what the ideal mechanical advantage of this system is. I'll just go through that from start to finish. One unit of tension, one unit of tension, one unit of tension. Here is one, here is one, so at this pulley, 1 plus 1 means we're opposing that with 2, so we've got 2 applied to that carabiner. There's 2 units of tension being applied to that top anchor. 1 unit of tension, 1 unit of tension here being opposed by 2 units of tension at this carabiner, which means 2 units of tension here for every 1 unit that I'm applying at the input. What's happening at the top here? Well, this pulley isn't giving us any mechanical advantage. It's commonly called a redirection. All it's doing is letting this unit of tension in the rope as I'm pulling down, turn around to apply that same unit of tension to the load in this direction. So one unit of tension, one and one. One plus one equals two. So for every one I apply here, I get two on the load. 